afternoon right here in Lagos, <coughs> and my very self, I'm having cough in Qatar, but the program must go on. That's our welcome coming to Sport Matters this afternoon. It was a ding dang weekend where games were played, the qualifiers are on, and our own Super Eagles right in here had their own game. But the drama in Adama Sibga Stadium was uh, the big one. Is it the Lagos Salami Stadium? I think it's the Lagos Salami Stadium. It was the big show of um, shame, if you ask me. We'll be looking at key issues as it concerns generally football. And the Super Eagles is our main focus this afternoon. We'll talk some basketball. We'll also talk some food. Yes, every sportsman needs to eat good food. And that is quite important and um, so key to the success of the body system. We'll look at the NNL playoff that is coming up right there in Enugu. And what else again? The Paralympians are back. Wonderful performance, you would say. We'll tell you the position in the world and in Africa. That's how we start the show. My name is Tillman Prince Lovisa, and they call me the view. I'm not alone in the studio, even if the day is a little bit dull because the rain is still falling. I have with me right in here, Joel. Mark, we go, Joel. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, good afternoon, Prince. It's good to have you back after the whole cough and Qatar. Yes, he's still in there, but uh, the show have to go on. Definitely. Also joining us is not a person than Tayo Olorun Shola. Tayo, how are you doing? I'm fine. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure having you guys. I'm very sure uh, it's no longer news that um, the Super Eagles won their game 2-0, courtesy of the senior man. Uh, I think the soap he's still using to bat is working for him. But we'll get there. But let's start the show from this angle. Um, the way you make your bed is where you lie on it. Tyron, let me start with you. The pitch we played on, Nigerians are decrying the condition. For a pedigree of a stadium like Teslim Balogun, that's, that wasn't what a lot of us were expecting. Yes, um, the, the, the issue is it still boils down to um, maintenance issue because you know we have a lot of um, pitch in Nigeria that are not even functioning. We have the Abuja Stadium, we have the national, the usual national stadium, and the Teslim Balogun Stadium is gradually going the way of all other stadiums, and it's quite unfortunate. Knowing fully well that this stadium is not in good shape, I see no reason why. The NFL will have brought the match to the venue because it's, it shows that at the end of the day, the whole thing that we talk about our football is not just winning games. Because I could see the comment of Nigerians. They said, yes, it was a good match, Nigeria won, but the pitch was not good enough. They didn't enjoy themselves. The football, football could not roll, you know and all of those things. And this also affects the performance. Yeah. Because by the time we go for bigger competition and we are playing in a better uh, pitch, then you discover that some of these things we played out and we work against our, um, our players. So it's, it's a bad way to go because Nigeria is a giant of Africa. So I don't expect a situation whereby we begin to have issues like this. The question is the money we get Fine, those money might not be big, but definitely something is coming in. So what are you using this money for? Well, it's a different perspective. Some people tell you it's private money meant for the NFF. What is the state or the federal government doing? Now, Joel, um, you're in this football business. Considering the fact that almost all the players we had on Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, no, on Friday, beg your pardon, were players who played their trade in Europe. And for you, what do you think will be running through the mind of those players when they stepped into the field? Well, they had just one, you know, one plan and one, um, you know, believe just going there and win. But um, there are some things, there are some factors that, you know, determine your winning. Pitch also has a very good, you know, impact. I mean, part of playing it. But so it was, it was an eyesore. You know, you saw a situation where some part of the pitch was just sandy mud or what we call potter potter or something. You know, which is not uh, good. I remember way back, uh, we had cases where some of our players complained, this pitch is bad, this pitch is bad. And, I mean, we are, supposed to, we are supposed to go beyond this. There's no way, because we are looking for a fortress for the national team, mm -hmm. so to speak. Because once upon a time, we had... Um, the uh, national stadium. Yeah. And we had, for a long period, we had... Um, I mean, uh, I mean... The next. Yeah. In Aquaibon. In Aquaibon, but now they're in Lagos. But for God's sake, Robert came out and said, Tesla Baru is good for them. I wonder what he saw. Probably the rain they started then, but I mean, after the, during the match, I saw how we found the stadium was an eye. So it's, it's, it's really sad. I don't expect now we're talking about hosting a tournament of this magnitude, probably under 22, under 23. We're going to have just, I mean, players come play in, in that kind of pitch. You know, it's, it's, it's bad for football right now. Now, let me ask you, 
gentlemen. Uh, the game was played on Friday. Yeah, there was so much expectation from the players. I, I, I don't want to be a critic, but what I saw was that we've been crying out aloud we don't have a team. The players were lethargic. That's just the simple fact, from my own opinion. For you, Tayo, two goals, yes, they won. Was that a team performance or an individual performance? Well, for me, it was an individual performance because we, we lost so many clear core chances. And the, the issue is, just like Joel said, we, have, we are open for the best. But when we begin to play against a team like Liberia and all we could get is just two goals. And it's not as if... There and this same no team, chances. sorry to cut you short, Stephen Keshi trashed them 6 nil. Let Stephen Keshi, 6 nil. Yes. And it's not as if... And the, the, the team that Stephen Keshi even used them, it was like 50-50. Half of it was uh, home-based. Then some were foreign-based. But here, yeah, uh, we use all of our best players. Mm. They are playing a big, uh, in bigger clubs. We have the likes of Indigi. Osima was there, uh, Ina was there. And at the end of the day, all we could manage was 2-0. Because when we bigger competition comes, this same team we, we, we played out. And like you said, those guys were like, uh, they were lethargic. Probably they, they were not properly trained or coming in <laughs> late. But the truth is we don't have excuse. Because yeah. definitely we are going to the last round. After this group, we'll go to the... Uh, we are going to play against the bigger team. Yes. So how are we going to do it when we are losing chances against uh, Liberia like this? Well, uh, with, with, with the pedigree Nigeria has attained, I expected us to have an entertaining game that Friday. I expected us, even if we don't score the goals, but the cohesiveness of the players is key. That didn't come to play on Friday. I wonder what happened because you see, when I looked at that game, when I looked at the lineup, I said to myself, this man is trying to play information that he doesn't understand. You're playing a 4 3. You're playing, play, I mean, a, a 4. It's not really a 4 3 thing because you had just one striker. You had an, you had an Osime that was almost out of the game. He wasn't even getting the ball. The balls were played between um, Ian Acho, Alex Ruby, Aribo, and um, this other guy, but the Simon that was launching the attack from the left side. But at some point, Ian, Ian Acho was like, guy, look, you have to come to this. And while I go to that side, we have to feed Osime. Osime didn't get a, I mean, a, a, fair, a fair day. The formation was kind of shabby. It was just one, it was just, a, I mean, in the way that I thought I got that goal, you saw how the goal came. Just the training from Mr. Yenacho, just, you know, just one shot and the goal came in. It's, it, no, no enterprising play, there was no cohesion, no, we can't we can even stream like three, four good passes. I mm. wonder what happened. These guys are professionals. Mm. Could it be that they're trying to play safe because the league just started in Europe or something? Okay, there's the bigger problem that is actually uh, coming up tire. There's a match against Cape Verde and there are match bonuses wahala. Now, the question I want to ask you, two in one, is the Eagles a faded brand? And why are bonuses not paid to the Eagles in dollars? NFF says they will be paying them in Naira. I, I don't understand where they're coming from. Well, the, the issue is, you know, I've always asked, what's the duty of the NFF? And gradually, it's like they don't even have any role they are playing anymore. Because initially, we felt they are for Super Eagles. Now, it's like they are against the Super Eagles now. Because... I could remember those days. They pay these guys in dollars. Yep. And I don't know why you have to pay them in Naira. Because some of them, they might decide not to come representing Nigeria again. Because when he discovered, I, I read uh, the story, they said they never bargained for one million Naira. Yes. That how would they give them this? And when you needed them most, these guys might turn us down. It's, it's quite unfortunate. So I see no reason why money should be the issue. They are the ones that will get this job done. It's not the NFF. Yeah. The NFF are just, they just need to put the necessary uh, administrative. So these guys are the ones that will play the game. Give them what they need okay. and let them get the results. Yeah, the question is, is the Eagles a faded brand? Um, <laughs> he's almost getting to that aspect right now because it's, it's quite funny where you're, you're talking about paying your players in Naira. It's, it's absurd. But to me, to me now, this is where the player, this is where we want the players to come in. The players don't have to come in because for God's sake, these are a bunch of professionals. And what is on paper? Because before you invite a player, what do you have on paper? Do I have an insurance policy? What am I coming to do? What am I getting as bonus? I mean, salaries and all that. So now the players have to come together and say, look, we don't want this. We've seen a player go on strike. 
If these guys really know where they're coming from and what they really deserve, they have to start stand their feet on the ground. So look, if we don't get this done, if we don't get that done, we're not coming to represent this country. Now let, let's put patriotism on one side. But this is what, for God's sake, it's like a battlefield. If you go to one, you lose. You're done, you're, you're dead. So for me to properly get prepared, I need to get exactly what I deserve. That's what I think should. The head, <coughs> excuse me, the head of affairs in the Eagles, uh, in the NFF secretary says, the Eagle players are street boys. They lifted up from the gutter. Well, uh, that, this, that, is, this is a salient insult. This is uh, it's, it shouldn't be coming from me. And the <laughs> the funny as well of is it's from your state. The, the uh, so so <laughs> it's from my state. No, you, 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 eh? don't, you don't say such. It's from my state. Is, I agree. You don't so? say such thing on national football. Which which why, which players are you talking about? There are seventeen or the national team players. The national team players. Do you know how this guy got flight ticket to leave this country? Do you know how they left Nigeria? I mean, to, to play that trailer, bro. You don't even know how, how these guys, they're, they're developing to this particular stage. All you just believe is, we have players playing abroad. Because what's the situation whereby you have to, you send your coaches abroad and say, look, hey, guy, where are you from Nigeria? Come and play for the Super Eagles. How did this guy get there? You don't know. What, what's happening to our youth system? So, is he Iwobi? You want to talk about that? He's, he will speak on the street. Iwobi has lived all his life in the UK. Some of these guys... Probably, probably he's talking to the likes of Kelechi Hinache. You're talking about under 17 players. Because I don't see any reason why you should, in the first instance, tell these players, we lifted you from the street. I wonder how For you what? Who lifted them? Because what? where did he come from? He himself. Who knew him in Nigerian football? It's just that the, the issue is, if someone has been punished for some uh, negligence, things like this will not be coming out. Because mm. it's like you are feeling like um, yes, we are doing these guys a favor. In favor. Mm. These guys, we are the ones that need them. If they decide not to play, then Nigeria will not go to competition. That's an insult to the start mm. of the it's, okay. it's, it's quite unfortunate. We'll see how it goes. But for today, the Eagles are departing the shore for the Cape Verde match. And that is a game General Raw is skeptical about. Well, um, when he says the game between the Super Eagles and the Cape Verde will be dicey, I was like, is this man really a coach? Or is it just a physical trainer? I don't think this is when we start asking questions because it's um, it's like searching for a needle in a haystack. You can't even bring out the needle. You can't, you can't even see it because we're supposed to say this thing. This this man submitted the CV that was to me shabby, but not right now. I mean, we can't just ask this question right now. But he knows what is going to fit because he's taking the home base player to keep it. And remember, this keep it guys. These guys are a bunch of good players. They get their training in. They train a lot in Portugal. They are European standard kind of players. So you're taking your own base player that you've not even trained together. How many years did you train? I heard they had a, they had a training at the stadium. In terms of, you, 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 I mean, if you just want to go to Cape Verde, probably get a draw. Even if he lost, fine. He's going to put the blame on the, on the FA at the end of the day. For you, Cape Verde <laughs> game. Uh, General Trez, a little bit skeptical. He thinks it's going to be a tough game. You know, their first game, uh, Cape Verde going to be so hard, it, a draw. Do you really see us going to Cape Verde to pick a victory? Well, I don't see, it's not going to be as easy as the Liberian game because I remember what they did at the last, was it two? Last Nations Cup. Last Nations Cup. Yeah. It's like they defeated Cameroon. Yes. And uh, Ibus does not have a team, just like you have said earlier. And this guy, well, like uh, Joel said, he submitted a CV. Whether it's shabby or not, I know the NFF must have seen something in it before appointing him, but it's quite unfortunate. I expect them to win, but like with the way he's talking, it's going to dampen the morale of the guys. Now, now there's something before I go into what the Cape Verde, uh, the Cape Verdeans have said. Seven of our players will not be in this squad going to um, Cape Verde. What impact do you think that will have on the Super Eagles? Kelechi uh, Enacho um, will not be there. Uwobi will not be there. Ogane Kare Tabo will not be there. Aribo will not be there. Uh, Trust Ekong will not be there. Leon Balogu will not be there. Uh, there's one other player again. About seven of them. Um, Indidi will not be there. Indidi will not be there. He won't be there also. And this is the nucleus of the team. Now, my, 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 my big question is this, Joel, before you uh, make a comment. I remember there was a time we had a tournament called Unity Cup. Yeah. Christian Chuku took us to that championship and won the game. Yeah. When most of the players couldn't come to camp, he had already made players who were ready to fit in. Do we have players who could fit in in the absence of these seven key players? You see, I've always said something. Now, you employ a coach, and it, it, what do you call him a coach? To me, the definition of a coach is somebody that makes you from nothing to something. 
when this man came, he wasn't given a proper mandate to work. You're supposed to build a home-based egos. No matter how shabby, like he said, our league is, you're supposed to get complete 33 national team players. Let's say a team B, a dream team B. But right now, you don't have it. Now, you're relying on the players that stop playing in the league for the past three weeks to, I mean, to, 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 to fortify your team and go to Quebec and pick a win. It's not possible. You know, so... so I don't know how this. I don't know how this match is going to happen. We don't have a team right now to get to prepare and pick a win. Okay. Yep. Uh, for you, Tayo, um, still going back to the Super Eagles game, the midfield was just not cohesive. That's just the simple truth. Indeed, will not be there. Aribo will not be there. Trasekon will not be there. And the Kepverdians, they are very aggressive. I've, I I watched their last qualifying games. Very very aggressive. Do we really have a formation that Genetro can put forward to? Really stem the Kevedians. If you are using the own base ego against those guys, there is no way we can win. I don't know human being. I don't know. They players. are, but the issue is they are tactical, and a lot of them they they train in Euro, mm. and you know they've been spilling fire that they are going to give, they are going to show Nigeria the stuff they are made of, and with all these seven players leaving, those are the key. The of new class of the team. Yeah, the so if they are not going to be playing, there is no. Let's just hope for a draw. At the end of the they day, they might end up playing the formation of nine nine one one formation. Nine, nine one one is it nine mode defenders, where? Nine defenders, one midfielder. Is it mode where? Start. Now, now for you, Joel. Before we go on this break, the Kevedians are talking tough. They said they will give the Super Eagles a fight. Uh, it, it's so appalling that in this age, teams that we we're supposed to knock and push aside are telling us to our face that come over. We're ready for you because we've not been able to put our house in proper order. I, 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 when I went through this statement and I read through the lines, I was like, Kibbet to Super Eagles? Excuse me. It's, it's, it's quite funny and, and it's, 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 it's appalling. I remember back in the days, if, if, if you don't want to play the Super Eagles, you lose the game before you get to, the, to Nigeria. Even, no matter where you're playing, home or away. Because the caliber of players we have, when you hear their names, for God's sake, you, you, I mean, your, your psychic will just die. And I'm like, okay, fine. We're, we're playing Eagles. Let's just go in there and have a field day. We know we're going to lose. Mm. But right now, everybody's giving us a run for, 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 for our money. Mm. And they know Nike players will be there. We, what else do we have? We're not going to bring our players playing in Bangladesh and all that. We're going to bring our players from the league. Mm. In terms of ball play, I wonder what, what, we're, going to, what we're going to do. We're I meant Musa will be there. I meant Musa. Uh. Ah. He's not going to do all the magic alone. One quick run, one goal, you go back and defend. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Nine, nine one one formation is going to help him. Nine defenders, one midfielder, one striker. It's it's very funny that um, at this point in time we started palming what it will look like. We have a national team with a crop of very fantastic players all over the world. Yet a coach believes that some group of players are those he can work with. We'll go for this quick break. When we come back, we're still within the Super Eagles, but this time we'll be looking at what uh, Tajude Disu is angry with the NFF. We we'll also talk on the need why players and management um, staff should take good meal when they are in sports. We'll be right back. Jason McIntyre goal by doing something remarkable here in Portugal. Portugal from left to right in the first half. It's a rare